any scientist in this country should be very worried because this is hurting the U.S. science and technology. You decided to move to the U.S. in 1989 mm -hmm. as a young Chinese scientist. Mm -hmm. Tell us what attracted you here in the first place. I was the very first person in the world who has made the high quality thin films of high temperature superconductor. Mm -hmm. The United States is where science, exciting science, uh, uh, is taking place. And uh, so, you know, if you want to go to the best place to do science, you come to the United States. You were arrested mm -hmm. in May 2015. Yes, indeed. For sharing American technology with China. Mm -hmm. What happened that day? These uh, armed agents rushed into my house and uh, you know, uh, yelling FBI, FBI, running around, and uh, they rounded up my wife and daughters uh, at gunpoint. And uh, I was telling myself, uh, do what they say so that they don't shoot me. Like any traumatic event, um, that's going to change life. Although your charges were later dismissed, in 2017, you decided to sue the U.S. and mm -hmm. federal agents mm -hmm. for violating your constitutional rights. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that lawsuit. It's very difficult to sue the government, but uh, when people do uh, wrongs, they need to be held uh, accountable so that uh, other people would not have to go through the same experience as we have. That will be worth it. This is happening to other people. Mm -hmm. Recently, we've seen an increasing number of similar cases like yours. U.S. officials also warned against uh, China's espionage, saying such activity is a serious national security threat. Are these concerns valid? Each case is different from any other. Right? So um, I, I cannot comment on these, all these cases uh, because I don't know all the facts. Uh, what I do know is the fact in my case. It's now you, we hear that so-and-so is being accused of doing so-and-so. You know, what do you expect me to think? I can only think from my own experience. And, 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 and my experience tells me that it's not always necessarily true. So you've been advocating against racial profiling in recent years. What is it like to be a Chinese-American scientist in the current U.S. environment? People are scared, and uh, you know, I, 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 I even used the word that the people are terrorized. I'm concerned uh, about open research, basic research. It is being described as something that uh, is being stolen. But uh, basic research is open research. It depends on free exchange of ideas and, and collaboration. And uh, that's vital. That's vital to America's competitiveness. So uh, even though the charges were dropped, our life was wrecked. I've been trying to uh, encourage the scientific community to speak up because um, those policies that try to uh, shut the U.S. up from this exchange is hurting the U.S. interest. Right. When people come here and bring all these different cultures, they make America stronger. So I'm not going to denounce my Chinese ethnicity. You know, I come from China. Only when Chinese Americans speak up for their own interest, we're making the union better. That's what this country is so great about.